What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jay and today we're going to break down the latest interview Anthony Noto, the CEO of SoFi, just did with Jim Cramer on Mad Money where he discusses how they are taking shares away from some of the biggest banks in America. All right, let's get into the video. I'm going to break down my thoughts, what Jim Cramer is saying, what Anthony Noto is saying. Stick around. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We just passed 200 subscribers, so thank you to everyone that's following along with the channel. Let's get into the video. Because we have these breadth of products, we can give you real solutions to real money problems, whether it's saving money or getting a better return on high interest or finding a place to make investments in a diversified portfolio. Are any of these answers that, to those questions uh, generative AI? I mean, because that would be hard every day to come up with. Like, I mean, yeah, you need a team of economists that, that you would ruin your bottom line. We have a significant amount of people that are experts in okay. computer science as well as data science, and we're using their knowledge and capability and this great data source to help train models. Now, I, I know that a lot of pundits are saying, you know what, the consumer's really tapped out. I've been hearing this. Now, Brian Moynihan disagree with that. Uh, but you, you sound like the things are robust. Well, we're really stealing share from the big banks, and so we've been able to add more than $2 billion of deposits uh, in each quarter since getting our bank license. And we reported in Q2, we remain confident that we could add $2 billion plus each quarter, and we're on track to do that. We're also seeing the networking benefits of having this large installed base, so our marketing is becoming more efficient, people are more aware of us, and we're driving better cross-buy. So we've started to see the compounding impact on our member and product growth in Q2, and we're seeing it really continue in Q3. I know that interview is a little brief. CNBC only posted a small part of the eight minute interview, but that minute and a half is one of the most important parts of the entire interview. I want to talk about some of the most important things from this small conversation we just saw. First, I want to talk about stealing shares from the big banks. Everyone knows that the big banks have their nails into the American economy. And if we can start to have some of these banks that give consumers a little more advantages, if you belong to like Chase or Bank of America, in your savings account, you're not getting 4.5%. That's for goddamn sure. And it's awesome because... You don't have to take out a CD and have your money tied up for a year, two years, three years. You can do the direct deposit, get 4.5% on your savings account, and then if you want to take it out, you can whenever you want to. That's so important. Next is getting $2 billion in deposits every quarter. With each $2 billion they get, they're going to be able to originate more loans. And more loans means more money for the SoFi company. My favorite part about SoFi is they don't give out loans to every Tom, Dick, and Harry, right? You need like a 700 credit score to be even considered to get a loan from SoFi, which is great. So we're not going to have a lot of these people that don't make a lot of money and don't have good credit scores defaulting on their loans. So $2 billion each quarter. If they can continue to do that, they can make more loans and ultimately make more money. One part of this interview that I think has gone really overlooked is the efficiency in marketing. I want to take you guys to Simply Wall Street where they break down the expenses of SoFi. So let's go over here. So right now they have $1.69 billion in expenses, but look at the sales and marketing guys. $666 million. That's almost 40% of their expenses is coming from sales and marketing. So getting that marketing spend under control, if we can get that under a half a billion dollars, that will save SoFi so much money and really help them get towards profitability. So understanding where to market, how to market, when to spend your money in marketing, those things are so important in the overall scope of growing a business, right? So if they can get that under control, which it seems like Anthony Noto thinks they are doing, they're going to save more money and get closer and closer to profitability. I think Anthony Noto and SoFi are doing a great job of building awareness. There's a great community on Twitter and Facebook all supporting what SoFi is doing. And also I've seen a ton of national commercials during football games and big events showing just how great SoFi is. And building awareness is obviously super important, right? But you got to really toe the line between spending so much money on marketing and actually getting results from that marketing. But it seems to be working really well. We're getting that consistent $2 billion of new deposits each and every quarter, which is ultimately going to benefit the company in the long run. Next 
And the last thing I want to talk about in today's video is the ability to cross buy. They're starting to really have this amazing platform where you can do pretty much whatever you want in the financial realm on the SoFi app. You can invest. You can have a credit card, which I have. It's pretty cool. You get 2% cash back and you can also use that to invest in stocks, which is awesome. And then if you want, they have mortgages, they have personal loans, they have all these different things. They even have renter's insurance now. If you buy one thing on the SoFi app and you have a good experience, that allows you the opportunity to use another product. And that is ultimately the best way to grow the business because you don't have to keep spending marketing dollars if you're getting good cross buy. All right, guys, I hope you liked this video. I know it was a little brief, but I think there's a lot of important stuff in this small interview. If you haven't yet, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you on the next video. Peace.